And at this moment, in Jiangsha, I withdraw my comments that have hurt um, the democracy of the country and at the same time promise that I will adhere to the um, standing orders before us and ensure that decorum is maintained. I have been called names, Mr. Speaker, sir, but as a young member, I'm still learning. I hope that I'm forgiven by the uh, members of government and wish to learn more from the learned politicians and leaders who are present in this parliament. At the same time, I look forward for the training session that is organized for all MPs and hope to learn and engage more during that session. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. As I was the uh, subject of the, uh, the attack, uh, I think I should uh, have a, uh, a chance to speak. I understand, Mr. Speaker, sir, that we have not had that workshop, uh, nor had we had the workshop before the suspension of uh, the former leader of the opposition. It was sort of uh, understood that uh, as we stood for election to represent people who voted for us, we would have that uh, good sense and maturity and wisdom to be able to conduct ourselves uh, in this August House in a manner in keeping with the status and the uh, reputation and the history of the House. I sat and listened to the Honorable Member uh, last night and uh, I could not uh, interject. I did not want to respond. Uh, it was still the first six months of our term in, in the House. And uh, the only thing that, uh, that concerned me was uh, his reference to matters that I had apologized to the nation about. And many senior members of the uh, opposition of government at the time, 1987, and uh, senior members of the Indo-Fijian community in, in Fiji have uh, accepted my apologies and some later on uh, have tried to ask me not to uh, continue to apologize. But the fact that uh, the Honorable Member brought this up yesterday perhaps shows the need or shows the the need for me to, to uh, keep reminding people that uh, there is a need to forgive and move forward uh, and not to uh, go back to things that uh, bring back uh, malice into our hearts and malicious words that perhaps we do not really mean, but at the uh, spur of the moment, the heat of debate, uh, it comes up. And uh, I only hope, Mr. Speaker, sir, that uh, we can have that workshop soon and uh, also uh, perhaps uh, the honorable members of the opposition uh, have not really been uh, spoken to by their, the, the leader of the opposition because that, uh, yesterday most of them were referring to our leader, our leader and referring to a gentleman uh, who was a former leader and no longer in the House. Uh, and I, I hope, Mr. Speaker, sir, that the Honorable Leader of the Opposition, uh, as a, a leader of uh, the parliamentary group at the moment, that he could, uh, before the workshop, uh, speak to uh, the Honorable Members of the Opposition and uh, tell them what they're going to be hearing from the workshop anyway. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I, uh, I'm not offended, I'm used to it. It's been uh, almost 50 years of, uh, of abuse, and uh, it's like uh, water. 
on the back of a duck. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To, uh, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, let me uh, first uh, convey on behalf of the opposition members our, our gratitude and I acknowledge you for your wisdom uh, in uh, allowing us to have some discussions on, on this issue before we proceed with the order of business as already laid out and agreed by the, by the business committee. So thank you, sir for allowing us to, to discuss this uh, very important issue. <coughs> uh, let me, uh, first of all, <coughs> again, uh, assure uh, yourself, sir, and uh, all uh, honorable members of the House, and particularly on the government side, <coughs> that I, as leader of the opposition, take full responsibility for the conduct of um, our members inside this house. <clears throat> Once again, I take full responsibility for that, sir. Be assured that um, this morning when we had <clears throat> our caucus meeting at 8.30, although uh, we were not all present and I'm going to convene another meeting during lunch hour <clears throat> to address uh, some of the key issues particularly with regards to the debate on the budget and most particularly about the conduct in the House as well. Given uh, your concluding remarks uh, as we uh, finished off uh, yesterday's session about decorum in the House. <clears throat> and uh, I just wish to assure you, sir, and of course the Honourable Prime Minister, Honourable uh, Leader of Government and Cabinet Ministers and uh, the Government side, that I have raised the issue <clears throat> this morning uh, with the members of the opposition about uh, decorum and, of course, uh, the words uh, that we use in this house as well to express our feelings, ideas, thoughts, uh, but we need to argue on facts uh, and, of course, uh, express ourselves in, in the proper context as well. Uh, so. Uh, I wish again to assure you, sir, that I have addressed that issue about the decorum uh, in the House uh, with the honourable members of the opposition this morning. And I have also spoken to the honourable uh, Ketan Lal uh, this morning. Uh, and uh, I intend to have a, another uh, session with him probably later today just to uh, guide him, guide him in... Uh, uh, in uh, certain aspects of uh, his conduct inside the House. Uh, as you have alluded to, Honorable Speaker, sir, uh, young and vibrant and very enthusiastic about uh, uh, the issues, passionate as well, uh, patriotic, uh, but uh, proper guidance. We are here as uh, mentors uh, for the young, aspiring uh, leaders and politicians that are coming up in the country, and we want to uh, raise them and nurture them to be good leaders, to take over uh, the baton as we uh, finish uh, from here. So huge potentials in the Honourable Member and I hope that this will not proceed to um, Privilege Committee uh, and we sort it out here in the House this morning and uh, it should uh, government think that certain, particularly on the areas referred to, uh, be withdrawn from the uh, uh, minutes of the meeting. Uh, I probably can ask the Honourable Member to withdraw that portion that the Honourable Leader of Government is uh, referring to. Uh, but again, let me assure the August House once again, sir, that I take full responsibility and I have taken uh, some actions this morning to address them, and of course, uh, this is why we need the training. Uh, but uh, despite that, while waiting for that, uh, we will uh, the, uh, sort uh, the matter out, and uh, we will ensure that there is proper conduct in this uh, August House, Mr. Speaker. Sir. So that uh, very briefly is my contribution. As I've stated, I've taken some responsibility already, uh, and I will be. We will be receptive uh, to 
suggestions from the government side so that uh, this can be sorted this morning. Sir. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.